What is popping everybody? We are back with another video and in today's video It's another video of surrounding the team of the year because that's like the biggest thing in EA right now Like I mean everybody wants to pack one. They're the best cards in the game It's still in packs right now So the next few videos that I'm going to be posting are all going to be around team of the year because it's the most relevant thing right now But this time what I've done is I've taken some of the best icons in FIFA history and I've put them onto one team and then I've taken all the team of the years and I put them onto their other team to see which is better new generation old generation I did this for just normal icons versus the world 11 but now what we're doing is the team of the year versus the icons but like prime icons I'll we'll see the teams in a second but before we do that please like and subscribe come on I post daily content uh yeah, so I mean, I post daily content. I think it's pretty good content. So I think you should join. If you're not, I hate you. But let us see the teams. First off, we will start with the team of the year. I have shown this team so many times. We have Mbappe, Haaland, Messi, De Bruyne, Bellingham, Rodri, Hernandez, Diaz, Van Dijk, Frimpong, Allison, with Cristiano Ronaldo on the bench. And I don't know if that's actually the card because I actually made this card before his like thing came out. So I have no idea what his actual rating is. But... That is about it. They still very, very stacked team. Ronaldo's card is just as good. I accidentally went out, but let's see the icons. I put them on the greatest team of all time, Real Madrid, and let's look at this team. Look, you got R9, who I just wrote his name as R9. We have Maradona. I brought him back into e FIFA, EAFC, whatever you want to call it. We have Pele, Zidane, Mateus, Hullet, Roberto Carlos, Baresi, Maldini, Cafu, and Casillas. And you might be wondering, because basically what happens is when you create, because I had to create all these people because like you're not able to just have icons and versus like normal players unless you're playing with soccer aid, which I didn't want to do. But basically when I create players, you can change every stat except for two. You can change every stat besides composure and defensive awareness. So yeah, composure is always thing and defensive awareness. Like a 93 center back, if he had even 80 defensive awareness, his card would be like a 97. So I had to like fix the stats around it to like make it more fair. But still, the created players are just as good as the normal players. I created the team of women and they beat the men. So let's see if that is, happens. And I also put Cruyff on the bench. You know, one of the greatest of all time. Also greatest, one of the greatest managers of all time. But that is a, let's see who will win. This We do two things in these videos, one game and then one career simulation. But let us see. We are going to first go to the game. I'll be back in a bit. We are ready to start this game. Let me know who you think is going to win down in the comments. I personally think that the icons will win, but who knows? It's EA, as I like to say. Somebody. Oh, he finds Pele. Pele shot. What a save to start off. Oh, what a shot. That Okay, it's a corner. Honestly, I thought it was a free kick with the way Pele went down. But what a shot that was. Almost went in the back of the net. But Alisson extended immensely to keep it out but here come the icons zidane sees pele pele is through come on is he gonna go he has the shot bang he scores bottom net nothing alison can do and he finishes it wow that looks a lot like wow look at that team bro don't they look so much like the actual icons we know and love like wow but what a finish by pele the team of the year just leaves him completely open. Perfect run through. Nothing they can do about it. It's a goal. It is 1-0 to the icons. That could be the winner for all we know. But let's see. We are back in it. Holland kicks us off. Back to Kafu. Kafu whips it in. R9. Oh, what a goal that would have been. But he hits it right at Alisson. Oh, my God. That would have been good. R9. With a scissor kick, spectacular, phenomenal. But it does not go in. So it is still 1-0 to the Icons. Cleared by Rodri, and that is halftime. All right, the Icons go into halftime 1-0 up. But let's see if the team of the year can come back into it. I don't know, though. It's really hard for these teams to even score a goal, so I'd really doubt it. But who knows? And this is a counterattack for the Icons. They can very well score off of this. He gives it to R9. R9 to Maradona to R9. He shoots. Goal! R R9 puts the team of no, not the icons up two to zero. I think that is the end of the game. I don't think I've ever seen a team capitalize off of two goals or even come back from two goals. Like that, it should be the end of the game. R9 
Beautiful strike. Oh, stays on the ground the whole time. Perfect bottom corner. Alisson could not do anything about it. There's Carlo Ancelotti. But can the team of the year get back into it? I really doubt it, but let us find out if it can happen. He passes it straight to Bellingham. Who gives it to Teo? Teo gives it to Messi. Messi hits through. He shoots. And it, just like that, the team of the year could be back in it with 10 minutes remaining. Messi finishes a perfect finesse after Maldini decides to play around with it too, more, too much and gives it away right to the defenders. Like, what? He just, he, didn't, he just passed it straight to him, and then Messi was completely open. Nothing Casillas could do about that. Yeah, and just like that. It is two to one. Can the team of the year make a comeback? I don't know though. It's only ten minutes remaining, but who knows? Back to Messi. No, no. All right, but Frimpong has it. He has a lot, a lot of room. He gives it to Bellingham. Bellingham shoots. He scores. Oh my! No way. No way. The team of the year have equalized on the icons with two goals in like five minutes. You wouldn't even expect one goal in ninety minutes with these AIs. But it's two to two. And just like that, the game is tied. The team of the year is back. And it seems like it's going to be going to penalties. But who knows? They've already scored two goals in five minutes. They could probably score another one. It's like this game is going to penalties. But let's find out who is going to win this game. We are ready to start this penalty shootout. Let me know who you think is going to win it down in the comments. Honestly, I have no idea. But let's find out. Ronaldo's the first to take it. Penaldo. But he misses. He tries to pen it and he misses. What a dummy. Maradona up next. Smashes it top bins. Alisson goes the wrong way. It is one to zero icons. Mbappe. Ooh, very cool run up from Mbappe. Sends it Casillas the wrong way. And Mateus now steps up. Perfectly slotted bottom corner. Alisson went the right way, but he would, could do nothing about it. De Bruyne. Bottom left corner. Again, it seems like every team is scoring besides Ronaldo. Pele steps up. Pele smashes it top right corner. All right. Messi. Pefi. Pefi. Top right by Pessi. He is known for his penalties. And Zidane to keep the icons in the lead. Smashes it to the top left corner. Beautiful, beautiful penalty. But if Rodri misses this, it's over for the team of the year. They lose. And he steps up. Goes slowly. Oh, Panenka. He did what Ronaldo could not do. But now, if Johan Cruyff scores this he wins it icons win team of the year loses and he steps up and he smashes it to the top left corner the icons have beaten the team of the year they were winning 2-0 they lost the lead but they still won on penalties look at the celebration that's incredible but is that how you expected it to go because I, I predicted that honestly i didn't expect them to have the team of the year to have a crazy comeback in the last 10 minutes of the game but that, that is something that I want in every AI game, but it's something that I probably won't get. But we are going to go to the career simulation. Let me know. No, I mean, I don't know. Uh, We're going to go to the career simulation. That's about it. I'll see you there. We are ready to start this simulation. We got both teams in the Premier League. Remember, we are going to be seeing who does better in the Prem, uh, Carabao Cup, FA Cup, and Champions League. But basically, here's how it works. You know, it's pretty obvious to tell when a team is better. Like, if they win a significant trophy. Like, if you one team wins the Champions League and one wins the Carabao Cup, you obviously know who wins. The one with the Carabao Cup. But, if by any chance, neither of the team wins a single trophy. It's whoever does better in the Prem gets one. Whoever does better in Carabao gets a point. Like, basically, if you just do better, you get a point. And if it's tied, it goes to whoever has the best Goal scorer, yeah, that's it. But before we even do that, I just want to like shh, let's let's look at the prices of the icons because I've shown you the team of the years time and time again, but we've never actually seen what it looks like for the for the icons because I just made these guys. But let's see. All right, Baresi, three hundred million. Cafu, two seventy. So is Roberto Carlos. Casillas, two seventy four. Cruyff, three fifty two. Hullet, two eighty five. Maldini is 252, Maradona is 348. I, by the way, I didn't give though them them. I did not give those faces. That is just EA by itself. I actually kind of made them look like it. I gave them a similar hair, similar skin tone, but interesting. Mateus 285, uh, Pele is 354, and then R9 is 352. 
So, and Zizu, 348. So, like, yeah, a lot of money for those big names. But let me know who you think is going to do better in the comments. I think, uh, maybe the, oh, I don't know. I think the icons are going to do it. I think the icons are going to beat the team of the year, this team. But let's see. We'll be back in a second. I'll see you after it's done. We have finished the simulation, but let's see who actually won the league. All right, I'm expecting them to be one and two, but you know how EA gets, so we'll do it slowly. But first off, look at this. I got I simulated every game, and I somehow got Nottingham Forest into eighth, beating Chelsea and United, which is very interesting to say the least, but that doesn't really matter. Seventh place is Fulham. Sixth is Spurs. Fifth is Newcastle. Fourth is Arsenal, so it's between us and... The, not us, but like the two big teams and Liverpool. Liverpool's in third, so it comes down to first and second. But let's see. Drum roll, please. Three, two, one. The Icons have won by just two points. Oh, my God. And they had more losses, but they the team of the year had so many draws. Only two points were between the two. That is crazy. Can we see? I, I don't know when they played each other, so... Ah, uh, that's that's. A, I'd like to see how they did head to head, but that is that is one trophy for the icons. That is very very good. But let's see who won the Carabao Cup. <gasps> they beat them in the for the team of the year. Beat the icons in the finals, two to one. That is insane. All right, so that's one trophy for the team of the year. But are either team in the FA Cup? Imagine they're both in the FA Cup final. The icons are in the finals. Where did the they, they beat the team of the year 11 to 10 on penalties? This is the second time where they faced each other. That is this is actually insane. I've never but for some reason I got Nottingham to the semi that is also really weird. But it is Real or not Real Icons versus United in the finals. And last but not least, did any of them make the Champions League final? It's a final between the two of them. No way. That is insane. They faced each other in every single one. And it honestly, I think it's whoever wins this wins the video. Because if I'd rather have a Champions League and a Carabao Cup than a Premier League. Unless they win the FA Cup. Ooh, I don't know. All right, but we're going to have to simulate through it. So let's go calendar. We're going to go to May or June 2nd. But before... We get to that. This is the question of the day. I ask a question every day now. If you can see any icon that you haven't watched because you were too young to watch it, who would be that player that you would watch? Like, for me, hmm. I think it would have to be R9. Like, I just, everybody talks about him. Or Zidane. R9 or Zidane. Because everybody talks about them with such high praise that they had to have been, like, incredible. Like, Something like a Messi or Ronaldo of back then, but yeah, that's my uh, answer. What is yours, guys? Let me know down in the comments. Remember, like and subscribe before we get into this, but let us see who is the winner. In the FA Cup, we have, for the icons to win, they do, they have a Premier League and a FA Cup, so that that is very, very good, but Champions League, it can all come down to this. It'll be pretty much tied, honestly, like... I don't know, but let's see. Give me the dramatic sound effect reveal sound. Do in three, two, one. The icons destroyed the team of the year three to zero in the finals. They are treble winners. That means that the icons have won this video because the treble versus Carab actually treble versus Carabao Cup. Let me know who you think is that would deserves that in the comments. But I think I think the treble edges it just just a bit though. But let us see some stats. Let's see who is the top goal scorer. Player stats. R9, 29 goals. Followed by Mbappe and Maradona. We have Messi. Who else is there? Bellingham. No Erling Holland. Very surprising. Yeah, no Erling Holland at all. I don't know why, but Erling Holland has not been like performing in these like videos. Like against the women's, he barely had any goals. Like he'd probably be like I think he had 14 goals as well. That is not great, but I, I'm, I'm surprised, but R9, look at that bald head. <laughs> Doesn't look anything like him, but he is the top goal scorer. That is, though, the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Um, yeah, answer the question down in the comments. Let me know if you have any ideas for future videos, and I will see you tomorrow because I do daily content. I do it every day. 
all day, every day, not all day, every day, but just every day. That is it. I will see you guys. Peace.